Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with another video. This time it's going to be a different one. You probably already know that I have some notes that I absolutely love and most of them are gourmands. Yes, I know, like vanilla, caramel, uh, chocolate, almonds, cherry. I absolutely love these notes. And there are other notes that I cannot stand. Like, when I see them in the notes breakdown, I'm like, why? Just why? Like, those notes really make me, I don't know, not wanting to buy a fragrance or even test it. Uh, but I've got in here, listen, I've got in here some fragrances that have a very strong note that normally I would hate. But in this case, in these fragrances, actually really really like so if you maybe if you struggle with these notes um, as much as i do but you still want a fragrance you want to experiment you still want a fragrance that has that note watch this video okay keep watching because i have in here like i said all of the notes that i absolutely hate and all of the perfumes with those notes that i absolutely love so before we start if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in I've got in here a very noisy little princess. Hello. Say hello to the camera. This is Daisy and she just won't let me film a video. Can I film a video now? Please. Can I? Okay. Do you want to go down or do you want to stay here? Do you want to go down or do you want to stay here? Tell me. She looks all innocent and all of that but she's not. Trust me, she's not. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Stubborn little dog. If you hear something in the background, I'm really sorry. It's Daisy. She just won't let me record. Yes. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, I will see if someone can stay with her because this is just not working. And I'll be back in a second. I'm back. Sorry about that. It was a pee pee poo poo emergency. Um, what I was saying, fragrances, we note that I hate, but I absolutely love these fragrances. So the first note that I cannot stand, not in all perfumes, but in most of them is patchouli. Patchouli is this, I don't even know how to explain it, like green, earthy, like sometimes it literally smells like I don't know, like soil, and it's uh, it's just not a nice smell in many, many fragrances. But in this one, it's amazing. This is Vampiram from Lorenzo Pazzaglia. This is a vanilla fragrance, okay? It has like six, seven types of vanilla, and then it has some patchouli as well. This fragrance is absolutely beast mode. Like, absolutely beast mode. You can smell the patchouli, but see, it's not... It's not like a dirty patchouli. It's not a patchouli that it's in your face. You can smell it. It's there. But then all of that vanilla, it's super vanillic. Like, it's extremely vanillic. Very, very sweet. But because it has that patchouli, it just makes it a bit more interesting. It just makes it a bit more, I don't know. It's not just vanilla, basically. It's, like I said, it's a beast. Everything that Lorenzo Pazzaglia has, it's an absolute beast. And this one is probably the strongest one that I've tasted so far. Literally, three sprays, you're good to go. This is one good thing with patchouli. Patchouli really makes the fragrance um, last longer. But sometimes, it's like, yes, it lasts longer. But if I don't like the smell, like, what's the point, you know? With this one, I absolutely love the smell. And it lasts a very, very long time. And then it projects, like, a lot, a lot. So, yeah, for patchouli, for patchouli... Uh, Vampiram is definitely, obviously has rum, it's in the name, uh, but this one is definitely a fragrance that you definitely, definitely should try. Next we have another note that, it's not like that, that many fragrances with this note, but what I've tested so far and the note itself I just cannot stand. Cannabis. We have in here, this is a new brand, it's called uh, Rosador, and this one it's uh, Lim a la rose lim a la rose um, i checked before okay how to pronounce the name and i completely forgot look at the bottle this is not just like a perfume bottle this is like art is decoration it's all of that 
this fragrance has, even though it looks extremely feminine, it looks like it's gonna be a rose, maybe a powdery rose, it's not. This has a cannabis note and it actually has another note that um, I'm gonna talk about in a second. It has cardamom as well. I love it. I've tested everything from them when I, were, when I went to Cannes and this one and I really, really liked another one as well. Um, the other ones all, were all right. I didn't really had the time to test them properly, but as soon as I smelled this one, I felt in love. It's an extremely, extremely unique fragrance. Like I said, it's cannabis, but I would not say it's a very, very strong cannabis. It's, you can smell it, but it doesn't have that. I don't know. It's something about cannabis just makes my stomach just, uh, no, I hate that. And if you live in the UK, you probably know, like if you walk, walk down the streets, you can smell that everywhere. And then the cardamom, it's in there. It has a little bit of nutmeg as well. It has other notes, but just the mix of them. It's so unisex, aromatic, super sexy. It's a little bit powdery as well, but just a tiny bit. Again, I did not think that this one has cannabis, but as soon as I saw the notes, I was like, actually, I can smell it. But it's a very, very, very pleasant cannabis note. The fragrance itself, the whole composition, again, it's not just cannabis. It has way more other notes. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do a full review for this one and another one. The bottle, it's stunning. But yeah, if you're looking for a fragrance with this note, try this one because it's, it's very good. It's like prop good um what other notes i have a few in here i'm gonna start i started with the ones where i have just one fragrance with that note and then we're gonna move on to the ones where i have multiple fragrances with that note but i still hate the note next we have incense and i've got in here gourmand bakur from jusset um incense is definitely a tricky note okay it's definitely a tricky note um I don't want to smell like a church, period. I don't want to smell like a church. And this is a gourmand that has incense. It's kind of like caramel with super concentrated milk. And then you have incense. It's a very unique gourmand. I know it's not going to be for everyone. I personally absolutely love it. Yes, it's kind of like a burnt caramel with milk. But you can definitely smell that incense, but it's not too incense where the point is like you spray the caramel fragrance in the church. It's not that. It's more like milk and incense and then you have the caramel. I don't know how to explain it. It's a very strong fragrance as well. It's a very polarizing fragrance. And extremely, extremely unique. I personally love it. I personally consider it a gourmand. It is a gourmand, but I know it can be a little bit too much for some, be for some people. So I also just try it first. But if you like it, be sure, be sure, you're not gonna smell like anyone else. Like, this is a very, very, very unique gourmand, and especially nowadays with gourmands, uh, most of them they just smell the same. So, if you want to smell unique, that one is definitely a very unique fragrance. Next note, musk. You know, you know how much I hate, I just hate musk i don't like musk i know people absolutely love this note not everyone but most people really really like this note i cannot stand it i cannot stand this note i do not understand what people find appealing in this note until i've tested musk k from ella k this is just the perfect just the perfect white mask clean mask I think it, ha it definitely has some iris as well. It's a bit powdery. It's clean. It literally smells like your the scent is coming from your skin. Like it doesn't feel like you're actually wearing a fragrance. It's more like you smell good. Your skin smells good. It's just such a creamy, clean mask. This everything that I have to say is the best one so far. I've tested, when it comes, obviously, other fragrances are going to have some musk in there. Again, musk mas makes a fragrance last quite a long time. Um, but I just don't like it. I don't like it in other fragrances. And when I tested fragrances that were just like musk, I didn't like them. But this one, I think, is the iris that makes it a bit powdery. It's sweet a little bit, but it's still clean. 
I don't know, it's just something about it that is very comforting as well. It's it's the best mask that I've tested so far. So yeah, LRK, if in case you're wondering, my bottle is signed in here. Um, LRK mask, if you're looking for the perfect mask, this one is definitely it. What else have I got? Okay, um, this next fragrance uh, is not gonna have the note that I hate as like the main note, but it's there, okay? I still couldn't find a fragrance with this particular note where the note is very intense and I would love it. I'm talking about geranium. I hate geranium. For me, it's like a dead rose that just stayed in a vase for like three weeks. I just, I, I hate the scent of geranium. But this fragrance has geranium. This is, um, Elagin Gold Nectar from M. Mikalev. I do have the original, I absolutely love the original. I would say this one comparing to the original is definitely stronger. I'm getting way much more coconut. But then I'm guessing this like, for me geranium, like I said, it's kind of like a rose, but like an old rose that died in a vase. For me, it gives me a like a red rose vibe but it didn't die like it smells good it just smells i can i can smell there's something is something different compared to the original it's not just a geranium fragrance so, or if you're looking to purchasing this one and you're afraid of the geranium do not be afraid because it's barely there you can smell it but it's extremely pleasant what i'm getting is just the original dna way more um amplified and then with a bit more coconut if you ask me it's such a beautiful fragrance it's such a beautiful fragrance the original i love the original okay when i went to Cannes the first day i had to wear um Elang in gold but this one yes has geranium and i actually like it i don't mind the geranium on this one i am shocked because i absolutely hate that note so yeah Elang in gold nectar from emmy Khalif. If you if you were interested in this fragrance but then you got afraid because you saw geranium, do not be, do not be. This one is good. What other notes do we have in here? Um, okay, fig, 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 fig. It's a note that can be a hit or a miss. Fig, it's it can be very green. Okay, uh, you have the one from Diptyque. I think it's philosophic or something like that. I can't remember. That is too green for me. I do not like it when it's that green. And I actually have two fragrances in here that have a strong fig note. The first one is Concordia from Memoirs London. Concordia, it's very fruity. It has like plum, it has orange, it has some flowers as well. I think it's some jasmine in there. But then you're getting the fig. The fig it is green, but it's not green to the point where it smells like grass. And it's a little bit fizzy for some reason. This is a fig that I like. Yes, it has a greenness to it, but still with that plum, with that orange, it just makes it sweet. The whole composition, it's sweet. And then you're getting just the greenness from the fig coming through, basically. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's such a beautiful fragrance. All of the other notes are very sweet. Like I said, it's just the fig that it's green, but it's just like a perfect balance. If Yeah, it's a perfect balance. I don't like when fig is just fig. Like it's just fig, it's just green. I don't like that. And it's super fruity, a little bit floral. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Maybe it's not necessarily the season right now because it's getting extremely cold in here, but this one like, early spring whole spring until summer maybe i think this one's gonna be absolutely amazing and the next one uh, that has again a very strong fig note is methexis from manos Yarachnis. this is a very unique fragrance okay like i feel like concordia you're gonna like con like more people are gonna like concordia than this one but this one is definitely extremely unique and i love it uh methexis basically has fig and then you're getting cacao and honey. When you first spray it, it's very strong on the fig, okay? It's very, very strong. Like it's fig and honey, and then slowly you're getting more and more and more honey. It's very thick, syrupy honey, and then you're getting a little bit of cacao as well. This works amazing in the hot weather. This works amazing when you go on holiday. 
it's such a unique fragrance the fig in this one is definitely way greener than in concordia but then the honey is definitely way sweeter than all of the fruits that you have in concordia as well so you see you have those two like elements extremely grim and extremely sweet and just the mix of them is absolutely beautiful again when it's just sweet when it's just green i do not like it oh it's 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 such a unique it's very unique you need to test it first if you're bold enough blind by it okay this is what i did um but i would suggest you test it first because it's a very unique fragrance it might not be for everyone but i absolutely absolutely love it okay next note uh, matcha tea i do not like matcha tea again it's too green for me but i absolutely love these two fragrances in here First one is A Kiss of Bliss from Penhaligans. I generally cannot remember the notes for this one. It might have some heliotrope or something like that or some almonds. Because you're getting the matcha tea, but then you're getting... It's not so green. But then you're getting this like super, almost fluffy, powdery, nutty smell. It kind of reminds me of a bakery for some reason. Like you're drinking a matcha tea in a bakery. It's super fluffy. It's just super, super fluffy. And it's sweet as well. Sweet and a little bit powdery. As soon as I sprayed this one, it was love at first name. So I had, I had to get a bottle. And then the next one is from Theo Cabanel. And this one is Je ne sais quoi. This is matcha tea and rice. It feels like it's like a rice pudding with matcha tea yes the matcha in here it's a bit stronger it's a bit greener comparing to uh, the one from ben Halligans. but you're definitely getting that rice smell again these notes again i'm not gonna be for everyone okay what is good with um Teo Cabanel? they have these little bottles i think this one was was a 30 ml i knew that i really like it but i knew that i'm not gonna wear it all the time so that's why i only purchased the 30 ml but it's good it's really good. It's very, very unique. It's this is what I'm getting rice, rice pudding, and lots of matcha tea. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it because it's a very good one. Uh, what other notes? Okay. Uh, violet. I do not like violet. Violet and lavender remind me of like a bathroom spray with lavender just because. It's more common used in fragrances. I got used to it and I don't mind it. But when I see violet in fragrances, in the no note breakdown, I'm like, nah. Nah, I don't like that. But I've got in here recently, I discovered them. Two fragrances um, that have a very strong violet note and I absolutely love them. The first one is Malo from Soradora. Malo, I discovered it at Exans. It's definitely, it's like a clean, sweet violet. It has some heliotrope, which makes sense because it's a little bit powdery as well. And heliotrope is that flower that it's, it's kind of like a floral vanilla almond. And this is what I'm getting. I believe it has some almonds as well, if I'm not wrong. And then it has some like sugar vanilla. It's not super vanilla, but it gives you that like a sugary vibe like pow more like powder sugar for me it gives me like violet fresh violet with a bit of powder sugar and then that halo drop that has a like vanilla almond floral touch it's such a like easy going super i don't know like a romantic scent i would call it very feminine very elegant it's a little bit cold as well i don't know it's it's such such a beautiful fragrance it's not too sweet it has a sweetness but i'm not consider this like a gourmand um but it doesn't smell like it's not just fresh violet i don't like when violet is just like cold and fresh and it smells like a bathroom spray it does it doesn't do that it's just it's just fluffy it's very fluffy for some reason uh, but yeah malo from soradora you definitely definitely need to try this one and then the other one it's a little bit more gourmand we have celeste from giardini di toscana this is my favorite fragrance from giardini di toscana in case you didn't know celeste 
See, Celeste has a raspberry note. Malo has a raspberry note as well, but I don't smell it that much in Malo. Where in Celeste, I'm literally getting like a raspberry whipped cream with lots of like violet powder on top. This one is way more powdery, but I'm definitely getting that raspberry. And the raspberry is sweet. Sweet and very, very creamy. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. For me, I know that Bianco Latte is extremely popular, but for me, Celeste is the best one that I have to offer. Absolutely love it. And the last end projects and yeah. Uh, okay, three more notes. Three more notes and then we are done. The first one is cardamom. Cardamom, again, it's a note that it's very loved in the perfume community, not by me. I've gotten here three fragrances with cardamom that I absolutely love, but everything else I've tested, every other like popular fragrance, um, fragrance with cardamom, I didn't like it at all. The first one, we have cardamom moss from EPC. I had a sample of it, and as soon as I sm smelled it, I was like, this is amazing, this is absolutely amazing. Cardamom moss, like the name suggests, it's cardamom and moss. It's, I don't know, it's aromatic. It's not too much cardamom. It's, for me, cardamom sometimes can smell a bit metallic, if that makes any sense. But in this case, it's just, it's just extremely, extremely beautiful. That's it. Super aromatic, super, super unisex, very strong on the cardamom. But absolutely love it. Like, somehow, absolutely love this fragrance. The next one is BDK Gris Chanel. I do have the x ray version as well. This is cardamom. It has sandalwood. I can definitely smell that like sandalwood. It has a little bit of fig, but it's not green. It's barely there. So that's why I didn't really include this one into the fig category. This one, it's, it's not just cardamom. You have other things going on, but you can definitely, definitely, definitely smell the cardamom in this one. And the other one that I love, absolutely love, Remember me from Javoy. Remember me, it's cardamom and milk. It's almost gourmand. It's, it's delicious without being too sweet. It's, I don't know how to explain it. I absolutely love this song. Like, I've seen people on Fragrantica saying that it's very, very good. And I was a bit skeptical, not gonna lie, because obviously I saw cardamom, but then as soon as I smelled it, I was like, this it has something gourmand about it even though it's not necessarily a sweet fragrance i don't know how to explain it but it's an absolute beautiful fragrance um for me this is my favorite one from javoy if you ask me a uh, fire at will it's amazing it's an amazing vanilla but i do have a billion vanillas in my collection so i don't really need another one uh but yeah remember me it's such a unique such a beautiful fragrance and you should definitely definitely try this one okay two more notes next one is gonna be oud um probably you are gonna think that i'm gonna include in here that rose vanilla oud combination no most people really really like that combination but then when it comes just to oud they absolutely hate it i've got in here two fragrances that are very unique you can definitely smell the oud um but it's not dirty it doesn't smell like a barnyard it doesn't smell it just doesn't smell bad it smells very good okay it smells very very good the first one is Anniversario from Pantheon Roma. Anniversario, let me spray it here. Anniversario, it's almost like a gourmand. Obviously, Anniversario is inspired by like a cake, anniversary. I'm definitely getting a like strawberry note. And it's strawberry with some flowers, probably white flowers, if I'm not wrong. And then you're getting some wood in the background. It's not very strong. You can smell it. I know you can smell it after a few minutes. It's there. It's definitely there. But it's not, again, it's not a dirty. It just makes the fragrance a bit different. Okay, so it's not just strawberry and that's it. It's strawberry, a little bit of flowers and then wood. And it's such, such a beautiful fragrance. Strawberry is definitely in the main note. Like, if you're looking for a strawberry fragrance, this one is definitely, like, it has a main note strawberry. I will not necessarily say that it smells like a cake. Like, but it definitely reminds you of, I don't know, when you celebrate someone, like, just the smell of everything that's in there reminds me of this fragrance. Like, like you have, um, 
obviously you have the cake but you have different sweets in there you just i don't know just a scent of the event it's very well captured in this bottle oh it's, it's it's such a beautiful fragrance this one also needs skin let me spray it on my skin because yeah see on the skin that strawberry is definitely more intense at least to my nose on the paper it was more like a strawberry and flowers on my skin it's definitely like a very very intense strawberry with a little a little bit of flowers and then you're getting the wood beautiful fragrance again do not do not be afraid of the wood in this one it is there but it's definitely not dirty it's just more like a supportive note and then the other one wood for happiness from initio i love this one i know it's not for everyone but i personally absolutely love this one this has obviously wood and then you're getting bergamot as well and it's aromatic it has other notes as well but it's such an interesting combination because like i said when it comes to oud normally you put that note with coffee with rose with vanilla but this one is like bergamot and I'm, again i'm not really sure what are the other notes are but it's definitely more like the vana clary sage that type of note like a bit green a bit aromatic a bit citrusy as well it's one of my favorites okay from initio absolutely love it it's a very unique scent, but somehow it really, really gets me compliments. But it's, it's such, 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 such a beautiful one. You can smell the wood, and, and again, it's not dirty, it's not, that's not like barnyard. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. And now, the last note, that I absolutely used to hate. And I realized that it's not necessarily the note, it's just how it's mixed in the fragrance. I'm talking about leather. I used to think that I hate leather fragrances. And I don't like when the leather is scratchy. I don't like when the leather is mixed with rose. I've tested lots of fragrances for like, you have rose and leather. I don't like that. I do not like that. The ones I have in here, I have quite a few, okay? Last year, I really tried lots of leather fragrances and I really, really like these ones. Um, I've got two that are more like sophisticated leathers and then I got four that are definitely more like sexy leathers. The first one that we have it's Cuir from Carne Barcelona. This is an extremely easy leather. You don't have to worry about it. For me, I'm not sure if it has thunder wood, but I'm definitely getting some like that like woody creaminess. And then you're getting a little bit of leather. It's extremely smooth, extremely well blended, and very silky almost. Do not be afraid. If you are a beginner, if you want to test something with leather, I highly recommend you try this one because it's such an easy fragrance, but such an like, elegant and rich fragrance. And the next one, we have Fragrance du Bois Milano. For me, Milano, it's like you take those like fruity notes. Imagine like Herba, Pu Herba Pura from Sos Herba Pura Magica from Sospiro. Okay, you take those um like fruity notes and then you add a smooth leather base you're getting milano really like it very unisex obviously the leather is a bit more masculine but then you're getting the fruitiness that it's more feminine really really like it very sophisticated very it has something it has something about it okay um and the other four that i was talking about we've got Another one from Soradora. This one is Mandol. You know, I love, 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 love Mandol. Mandol, it's not necessarily leather, it's suede. But then you're getting tonka bean, you're getting almond. The almond in this one is more that almondy cherry note. Um, it's definitely a dark scent. It's not too sweet, but it's just so unbelievably sexy. And then the leather is so smooth. I mean, the suede. Um, it's so smooth. It's absolutely fantastic. Next we have Cherry Punk from Room 1015. This one is cherry and leather. The cherry is a bit fizzy as well. It's it's good. It's good. If you want it, I know Tom Ford Lost Cherry or um, Cherry Smoke or anything from Tom Ford, try this one instead. The leather, do not be afraid of the leather, just makes this fragrance extremely sexy. It's very long lasting and it has an amazing price. It's it's one of the best cherries probably like the best one that i have in my collection one of the best ones because i have other two that i really like one is bodacious from bodicia and the other one is venom of love 
uh, from Navi Tools, but this one is like definitely top three. Absolutely love it. And the other two are definitely way stronger on the leather. Crying of Evil from Stefan Humber Lucas. This one for me, oh, it's definitely unisex, not necessarily sweet. It has a sweetness, but not necessarily very sweet. I'm pretty sure it has some sandalwood in it because it's very, very, very creamy. And the other one, and the strongest one, I never thought I'm actually gonna like a fragrance um, this strong. Casual number four. This is leather. Very, very, very powerful leather, okay? Leather and Davana and dates. And I think it has a little bit of rum. It's extremely powerful. It's very dark. But again, even though it's that dark and that powerful, um, the leather in it is still very smooth. You might find this one too masculine. I would say it's unisex, but I know that it's, it's quite... It's a dark fragrance, okay? It's a dark fragrance. You need to be very bold, especially because it's... Beast mode. It's absolute beast mode. I feel like this one on a guy is gonna smell whoo, amazing, but I love it to wear it myself as well. Like, you need to be bold, okay? It needs to be cold outside. You need to have like nice makeup, nice outfit um, to wear this fragrance. Uh, you can't do a truck suit and nah. You need to look nice to wear this fragrance as a woman. But as a guy, still you need to look nice. You need to look nice. It has that presence. It, I don't know. It's good. It's unbelievable good. Um, very unique. Do not blind by it. Okay, maybe try it first because it's very polarizing. You do not, when I'm saying it's strong, you do not understand how strong this thing is. Uh, but definitely a very, very, very sexy fragrance. So the last one that we're having here, Casual for, um, yeah, Casual for is our last scent. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any particular notes that you absolutely hate normally, but you just found a fragrance or two with this note that you just love let me know also if you tested any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye